Hey y'all, it's Anime K-Man. Today I'm gonna be reading the fourth episode of Kumurikusa. And I gotta say, this episode felt like the coming out party for this anime because this is the first episode where I actually, like, really, really cared about these characters and I didn't want to see anything bad happen to them. Now, in the previous episodes, I cared about them somewhat, but now I'm getting to know these characters more, seeing them interact and all that kind of jazz. Now I truly care about these characters in a good way, especially with the way they're interacting with each other, like the arena sh showing off their tricks, like how they're the little dress thing at the bottom, and they're they have like these little ball tips that can walk on their own if need be, and I like how they're showing it off as a little trick, and then I also like how it shows the consequences of them not eating enough stuff because of one of the arenas during the episode it wasn't really moving and she almost got annihilated but wasn't for walking about stepping in at the end so I kinda like that too those were some nice elements about this episode then aside from that I also thought this episode succeeded character wise because you see the arenas warming up to walk about which is natural because after the, some of the stuff walk about done in the previous episodes it's natural that you would have the little girls slowly warm up to him. And you can even see Ren in this episode become less of a hard ass against the Wakamba. Because instead of outright dissing him like she did in some of the first two episodes. Instead she tells the Wakamba when he's asking questions. Uh, don't exactly cover Ren to just sleep. Or stuff like that. She doesn't have those nasty like responses as this episode progresses. So I like that. You have character progression from the arenas from Wakaba because he actually wants to put himself to use. He doesn't want to be useless and he actually was useful. So that was great character development for Wakaba too and some character development for Rin. So I gotta say these are all amazing elements about this episode. And that's why I felt I did really well from the character standpoint. I'd say the only one that really hasn't had their character moment was Ritsu but we still got a good amount of episodes left so I ain't worried about that standpoint. This anime has been doing great, so gotta give it props to that. That's why I fully succeeded from that standpoint. I think it also succeeded from the story standpoint because you could tell the writing was in tune in this episode. It really started out with this with the seemingly comedy scene where they're showing like little balls at the end of their dresses can walk. And I thought that was a cute little scene and that was about it. And it was funny how I said cute and then immediately afterwards Walker was like, oh, it's so cute. And I was like, damn, this boy, it felt like he was reading my mind. The boy. And then what I was impressed was when they had to fight a big red book called an issue. I like how they actually use that as a distraction and you had to walk about actually come up with the strategy because he spent like a good amount of time playing with the Kimurukusa leaves. And that's why this victory felt natural because you were having build up from the start with uh, Wakaba playing with the Kimiruska leaves and him swinging around a leaf and then having like some kind of barrier thing, which was good build up for when they actually fought the creature. It actually didn't feel like an asshole because it was built up to like when they used the little ball creatures that were carrying the Kimiruska leaves as a distraction, it worked and it didn't feel like an asshole because the arenas were using it earlier. And then when Wakaba used the shield to protect one of the arenas from destruction and it activated by accident, I also like that little Sukins too because it was kind of built up because it makes you wonder what could this thing do and since blue is kind of like a natural color and it isn't an offense color like the color red or a healing color like the green color, it would make sense that it would be some kind of like barrier thing too with the with the way it's colored and shaped. So that was also a nice element from this episode. And just to see them take out that big red bug through, through the help of everyone. And you even see like the arenas celebrating. And, and in the background you see them high-fiving our boy Wakaba. Just put a smile onto our face just to see them all bonding like that. And getting close with each other. And I think that's what really made this episode satisfying. That little human that those human elements right there made it more satisfying than the action sequences itself and I gotta say take oh and then the art and animation were phenomenal especially the art I'd say the backgrounds looked really great this episode and the animation was really good when they fought against the Nishio too I also love those kind of elements and I like how it even gave some characterization to the red bugs because it's showing off they don't have much intelligence 
Because if they did, they would have aimed for the bus immediately, but it was only aiming for for Rin and then the leaves. So I like that too. It gives off, even though they're overpowered, it gives us hope that our main cast can continue winning fights due to intelligence. So I like all these elements. And taking them all into consideration, I'm going to give this episode an 8.5 out of 10. Thought it was great. Cannot wait for more. And... I'm definitely going to be live ranking this in the next episode because I'm pumped up. So anyways, guys, and guys, in my thoughts on the episode, comment down your thoughts on the episode below in the comment section, rate the video, subscribe if you want to see more reviews and reactions, and I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for more. All right, guys and guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.